Join me now here on the MMA Report as a man that's going to step back inside the UFC Octagons, makes a trip to fight Island. Kyle Phillips, Kyle, I appreciate the time. Before we get in the fight, I got to kind of ask you about you're, you're stepping into the podcast world, man. What uh, I saw you, you've got a YouTube channel where you're, you're putting everything on YouTube. So what, what made you uh, decide that you wanted to uh, start a podcast? Uh, I don't know. I just linked up with a dude and I like talking about stuff. Me and my friend Clay Carpenter, he's uh, also an MMA fighter. He just fought an LFA a couple weeks ago, and we just decided to start putting random videos on there. Not just my podcast, but we're doing, like, videos of training, jiu-jitsu, and just, like, messing around, stuff like that, and some highlight videos. So uh, I think it's just cooler having a platform to have more um, video and content out there on YouTube. Oh, no question. I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I think it also it's a, it's a great way to kind of for you to, to show – who you are as you know i mean i think everyone knows you kyle as, as a fighter but you know who, who is the the everyday kyle you know what what's you know because i always say is like you're just like any other person out there that goes through the you know the day day in day out grind yeah they see me as matrix man but i mean they don't see me as kyler i got a heart too you know i'm not just ruthless all the time so uh yeah I got that out there, so I'm, I'm planning on just pushing a lot of content. I'm gonna do podcasts every two weeks or every other week. Awesome, awesome. Uh, obviously, you're heading the fight island. We we've not seen you since uh, the beginning of, of this year. So, what's been going on since that fight in February? A lot, a lot has been going on. I had that fight and uh, I had a great time. Past the past, I'm reaching out, trying to fight uh, soon. I tried to fight in June. I tried to fight in July. August, September, I'll fight whenever. And this whole Corona thing happened and had a couple of fights fall out, but uh, some matchmaking happened. And then I got this fight for uh, October 3rd in Dubai against Donna Badgare. And he, uh, actually just this morning I found out, I've been preparing for that fight. Uh, he, he, for some reason he can't come to Dubai. He's from Mongolia, so. I mean, whatever, you can be stressed and stuff, but I'm still planning on fighting October 3rd. I told him, get me a fight, whoever, whenever. I don't care if it's next week. I don't care. I'm ready to go. So they told you who, if you're going to have a replacement opponent on that card? Uh, I'm hoping so. I just I just told uh, my manager, just get me a fight whenever, any card. It can be next week. It can be October 3rd, but I'm still just planning for October 3rd. So whatever curveballs this game throws at me, I'm going to be prepared. But at the same time, also be smart and be realist. And if stuff's not happening, i got to start making things happen. In terms of you, you talk about, uh, you know, curveballs that have come to, towards you and, and everything along those lines. Um, in, in terms of this curveball of coronavirus and, and how it's kind of affected training and, and things along those lines, what was the biggest impact for it for you in, in terms of like, did it alter how you could train? Did you have to find out, you know, come up with different ways to kind of get the work in? Um, I still did the same exact thing every day, you know, training with the new partners and stuff like that, getting my jiu-jitsu training in with the best in the world, the Tonquinos, getting awesome training at the MMA lab, training with Hanchi Nico at Two Knuckle Sports, doing my Nikito Kai, continuing to further my abilities, uh, and confidence as well as just discipline and having fun. I've been having fun this whole time and I've been inch by inch every day working towards my next goals. And uh, it just, the roof is just getting higher and higher and it's just, there is no roof, you know? And um, from my last fight till now, I'm on a completely different level. And the more time they give me, I'm just gonna be more, uh, more precise and having more fun. But at the end of the day, like, I need to get this fight, so hopefully I can get something soon, and, uh, you know, then we can start focusing from there. What's the biggest difference we'll notice when we see you in the octagon in your next fight as opposed to what we saw you earlier this year? Uh, there's there's so many things in my toolbox. You know, uh, I've, already, I've always had such a diverse toolbox with my, my grappling game with my top game, bottom game, with my jiu-jitsu, my wrestling, with my stand-up, with my long range, with my inside game, my clinch. But this level is just flowing and mixing now. And everything's sharp, you know, you're not, it's kind of like when you, 
people are gonna fight me, it's like a question mark. It's kind of like that, getting somebody on their heel and I'm gonna make them, you know, kind of close their eyes and try to bite down and swing on me because they don't know what I'm gonna throw at them. And if they try to guess, they're gonna be a step behind. And uh, yeah, at this level, I just, I'm having fun. And I'm 25 years old and I feel like there's so much more I could do out of myself every day. Every breath of oxygen is a gift, so why not just give myself back and, and do what I can to to further the, the potential that I have, you know? How would you describe 2020 in terms of your mixed martial arts journey? Uh, it's been the same whether I, I mean, coronavirus, of course, like it's, it's tough for a lot of people. You see a lot of businesses going out and people not making money as well as success. There's a lot of people having success out of it, but uh, you got to take it for what it is. And I specialize in bringing good out of bad and I specialize in uh, making the best out of whatever situation, whatever circumstance I get. That's the character growth and the development that, uh, and the test that I get, you know? So I feel like life is a test and every thing that gets thrown at you is just an opportunity for, for me to grow. And uh, the last couple of years has been tough and as well as this year. So I'm just using it as a tool to strengthen my abilities and whatever comes, I just got to make sure that I keep getting fights, you know? You know, I, w- I was talking to Casey Kenny a little before we connected and, you know, I, I mentioned to him, I said, you know, cause he's on this October 3rd card as well. And I said, will you stay on fight Island just in case another opportunity arises? And he said, yeah. Are you in that same scenario of would you stay there in case another opportunity came? I would be sick. I would live there, man. Like, I mean, if they let me, like, I don't know what the rules are and stuff, but yeah, that's my job. You know, I'm, I don't really have, I mean, I have a lot of other things going on, like the gyms and stuff like that, but it's, I'm, I'm ready to throw my whole self at this thing, you know, and uh, I am. So, there's something like that. I don't know. Like, it's kind of a joke, but if I could stay there and fight, that would be sick, you know? I mean, ideally, I mean, in a perfect scenario is your hope of I like, get this fight October 3rd and, and try to squeeze one more out before the end of the calendar year? That was my plan. So um, my plan is to fight again after this if I get this fight. Um, but sometimes, yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. Things happen. People get injured or whatever. But I got to make sure, got to make something happen if it doesn't. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to get as many as possible in there and get some more experience. Whether it takes, you know, a month or a couple months, I got to just keep grind forward and I have to get that fight. So somebody fight me, man. We look forward to seeing who that person may be that's going to step up and take this fight here on October the 3rd. Kyle, man, I appreciate the time. I know you're uh, you're busy getting things done here. Of course, let everyone know anything you on social media and anything else you want to mention, man. Yeah, social media, KY Matrix, Kai Matrix, the business, the boss, uh, and my YouTube channel. I got It's just Kyler Phillips. So I got a couple videos on there, and I'm going to keep flooding out and sending out more stuff. So check me out, Kyler Phillips on YouTube.